What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Rem here, your favorite Radiant player. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about angle snapping, the new and better raw Excel. I'm going to be showing you guys how to get it and if it's worth it to use it and also talk about whether it's bannable or not. And don't forget, if you want a chance to win a free Valorant Battle Pass, comment your thoughts on angle snapping down below and like the video for a chance to win. All winners will be announced in my Discord, so make sure to join that link in the description. And if you want to watch me play live, check out my Twitch. Now let's hop straight into the video. So what is angle snapping exactly? Angle snapping is a function found in some luxury gaming mice that enhances the precision of enemy snapping. But if your mouse doesn't have the feature, you can get it with a program instead. This feature enables players to move their mouse sideways and stabilize their crosshair for headshots, even during minor jerks. By filtering out unpredictable hand movements, this feature is able to accurately predict the mouse's next movement. Activating this function can enhance in-game accuracy and is beneficial for players of all levels of expertise. So in order to get angle snapping, what you're going to first do is go to this GitHub link. This will be in the description for you guys. And once you find this website, you'll see on your right hand uh, side of the screen, the newest release 2.1. Click this. And from down here, you'll find innerexcel.zip. Download this file. Once you have it downloaded, you're going to open it up. And then typically I drag this all to my desktop so it's easier to use. And then from there, you're going to open your driver, find driver install. From there, you're going to hit any key and then it'll be downloaded. You do need to restart your PC for this to work, but we're gonna go to the next part first. So you also do need to download uh, the 2015 version of Visual C++. So this will depend on obviously what type of bit your PC is. Most are 64 bit. So we're just gonna download the 64 bit because mine is as well. Run this program, agree, install. And then once this is installed, you can reboot your PC. All right, so we've now restarted our PC. So what we are going to do is go to the application folder, which is number two. Click this, open it up. From here, you'll find enter GUI. Open this up. And once you open it, it'll say, this looks like you're running this for the first time. Would you like to run the quick configuration wizard? Click yes. And for here, you're gonna put in whatever your refresh rate of your mouse's hertz is. So for me, I'm on a thousand hertz. So we'll type in a thousand and my DPI is currently 400. So you type in whatever DPI your mouse is and then click OK. So for my personal angle snapping settings, I have my Excel mode on Quake Live, my sensitivity on one, my acceleration on 0 0.1725, my sensitivity cap on two, my speed cap on zero, my offset on zero, my power on two, prescale X and prescale Y is both set to one. My post scale X and Y is 1.725. And for my angle snapping, which is the most important setting here, I have it set to 40. I'm on 400 DPI and 0.7 in game on Valorant. So this one is the only one you're gonna wanna play around with. So change this up or down. And I'd recommend using about 40 for 400 DPI. And if you're on a higher DPI, maybe try 30 and so on and so forth. <laughs> nice. Trade it, nice. It's out, drop. They're both out. They're both down. Nice. Dang, he just... And it just swings every... Arcade's hit like 50. Nice. Nice drop by Joe Sully. 
Sorry. 90 raise, 90 raise. One flanking, I think. Yeah. 67 feet. Lost to 67. She was sand last scene. Nice. Wow. Dirty on, bro. Nice. Don't let them know where you're at. Shut up. One with CT. Hold me, I'm putting this bike down. Cypher spawn. Oh, I can't. Sight, sight, sight. Right side, CT. Run. Boys, here we go! Oh my god. Two down, two down. Look at me! Aries up, let's go! Inked him! So a bunch of you guys are probably wondering right now, is this safe? Am I going to get banned for using this? So I did run this by one of my uh, developer friends over at Riot. He is senior anti-cheat analyst for Vanguard. And I ran it by him. I referenced Kairu's video um, so he could take a look at it. And I just said, quick question, bro. Have you heard about angle snapping? And do you know if it's bannable or not? It's essentially the newer arc cell trend. It's going viral. So may lead to a bunch of bans if it is. I just want to let him know about this and make sure that it is clear to use. And he said, it won't. We have nothing that would ban on something like this. And I just said, okay, cool, thanks. So you guys are definitely good to try it out if you'd like. So is angle snapping worth it? I would definitely say angle snapping is worth it for Valorant or CSGO. Since the game is very dependent on crosshair placement and maintaining a good horizontal axis. For games like Apex or Fortnite where players are constantly on different elevations and your horizontal axis doesn't quite matter as much, it's probably not needed, but I feel like if you're playing Valorant or CSGO, angle snapping gives you an extra confidence buff, which makes you perform better knowing you have something that helps you out to keep your crosshair steady, and I also feel like angle snapping has definitely made my micro adjustments feel smoother, so I definitely think it's something that you guys should definitely try out. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video and if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop a like and subscribe it really helps out the channel a ton and if you have any questions or need any help feel free to comment it down below I'll try to read them all and I love helping you guys out and if you want to see any more educational Valorant content make sure to check out my other videos on my channel to learn other ways to improve. That's going to be all though for sure. Peace out guys.